Hey guys, hi Nikolai, hi Rodoslav. Hello everyone. Hi Jai. Um, hello, uh, everyone. Uh, I'm putting here the link to the meeting notes. Uh, I have kept some of the names here. I don't know uh, if we are expecting anyone else. Uh, or if someone is not here. Okay, I will share my screen. Okay. Uh, do you see the meeting notes yep. here? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Good. So, Nikolai, uh, Jai, Andre, Alexander. Uh, do 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 we have someone here from the list that is not here? Alexander. Uh, John. Ivan is not here. Ivan is not here. Denis, Denis yeah. here. Okay, I think that we are mostly here. Okay, good. I'll leave her. Uh, and could we please fix the date? Um, yeah, uh, that would be 21st. 21st. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. So, um, I have uh, uh, two quick topics for today. One is the repo split. Uh, uh, one is the NSM con, uh, which is just a, a reminder. Uh, I hope uh, since this call is, uh, is uh, recorded. Um, I just have to say this. So uh, effectively, the upcoming uh, events, uh, NSMCon, which is the day zero event before KubeCon in Amsterdam, uh, we have uh, on our site the meeting, uh, no, the, the call for papers open, uh, also um, Sponsorship uh, uh, is open. We have uh, various types of uh, various various le levels of sp sponsorship. Uh, we will have bigger room than whatever we had in San Diego uh, like uh, two months ago. Uh, so I hope that it will be a good event uh, for us uh, to organize. Uh, then after that, we have the KubeCon itself, for which uh, we have submitted also a number of talks. I hope that we'll get at least a couple of them uh, accepted. Uh, we also have our maintainer track uh, being a since sandbox project. Uh, we are entitled to have uh, this time only one talk, but still uh, we are going to do this. Um, so this is KubeCon. And then after that, I guess we'll talk uh, uh, about this also on the, on the call after uh, like uh, uh, the morning call, call like yeah, let's say Pacific time morning call, uh, the regular world group call. We're going to talk about this, but also do we have open networking summit in uh, uh, in North America, uh, which is like 20 days after KubeCon. So uh, will be will be an interesting and challenging uh, to cover. Uh, all of this. Uh, so these are the, let's say, the, the most, uh, I would say, pressing and pending events that are in the months to come. Uh, we will try to align this with um, our uh, 0.3 release for KubeCon and SMCon. 
So uh, this kind of uh, dictates our agenda. So saying all this, uh, um, like since last, since our last call, we have started doing the uh, splitting of the repository, which is um, according to what I can see uh, is going very well. So today we have three new repos, repos split, which was cloud test, uh, SDK and SDK VPP agent. I and think for SDK kernel yeah, yeah, in my they, head yesterday. Yeah. And I suppose uh, I've not seen any messages from it, but uh, at least I suppose probably it will be for the APIs. Yes. Uh, because the uh, SDK at the moment depend on the uh, main network service mesh repo mm -hmm. for the APIs only, and it's not good. So I think uh, he will put the APIs into the SDK kernel. <laughs> but I could be wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, we, we spoke about this yesterday, and uh, I'm sure that we'll probably uh, speak about it also uh, in the work group call today. Uh, yes, uh, it is something that's probably going to happen too. Um, so the, the idea is that we are splitting uh, into smaller chunks uh, the main network service mesh uh, repo. Um, that has its challenges, but also it has a lot of great and good things um, that, are, uh, that are going on. on um, like uh, everything is uh, much more testable, smaller to, to, to manage, etc. Um, we have, we're taking advantage of the GitHub workflows, uh, which I'm still not sure how these things are used, but apparently uh, there's something that, that, that's running fast. Mm, I don't know how this works in terms of, is it something that you have to sub subscribe? Are there any caps on the resources that you can use? Can I run kind, for example, here as part of this? Uh, and things like that. Um, how does this relate to the Circle CI? Uh, I'm not sure. For smaller uh, projects, uh, GitHub Actions works a bit faster, I think, mm -hmm. uh, in compared to Kind. But for the main network service mesh, I think we will still use the Kind for uh, huge integration testing jobs. Mm -hmm. so probably. Mm -hmm. No, I was mostly parts. considering if I can can migrate the examples uh, repo to something like this. Uh, mm -hmm. but okay, I'm not sure what. Uh, okay, okay, so that's that's not. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, this question for to check. Yeah. Uh huh. But uh, I mean, uh, uh, we are going, I believe, in the in the right direction with this. Also, I'm really glad that cloud test is starting to live its own life. I saw that you have a lot of examples. Um, Not a lot, but few uh, yeah, of them. Okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, At like uh, the kind is here, and I guess that uh, it's something that that will will allow people to to start. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And we probably should start considering um, uh, talking about cloud test. Okay, uh, probably something that. You, can initiate, I don't know, on what kind of uh, forums or uh, online for, for formats. Maybe maybe you can record a video and we can publish it on YouTube in our network service mesh uh, channel or something like this. I mean, uh, it's a it's a it's a good tool uh, and yeah, it deserves uh, its own um, let's say prom pro promotion and uh, be able to talk about it. Also, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I wanted to do some minor work uh, to it uh, during this week, I think, mm -hmm. uh, just to do some cleanups, make the configuration file more clean, mm -hmm. and so on. And we'll uh, publish a 1.0 release for it and switch NSM to use uh, 1.0. Yeah. I think the idea is mm -hmm. something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that we are using uh, 0.1. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Just uh, because uh, some configs are changing uh, yeah. state. So uh, I would say that, that for the time being, cloud test is the first one of these repos that are used uh, 
Uh, I'm not sure, uh, like the SDK is still um, kind of lives in both places. So for the time being, uh, I think that this SDK is yeah, it's an old SDK. Yeah, the new SDK does not contain all of this stuff yet. Yeah. So it actually uh, the new SDK is uh, a few projects. The SDK itself is for core, and the SDK for VPP it's in separate repository. Mm -hmm. So it will be split into two parts, and it's a bit uh, a bit different SDK. Yeah. So it's similar uh, approach is similar, but the uh, utility classes is a bit different. Mm -hmm. So uh, other interesting uh, thing that we have merged, and I think that it kind of created some some problems, but this needs to be checked. Uh, I merged this um, Helm tree kind of support uh, and yeah know. well yeah already have a fix uh it's in a pull request 2064 it's in the progress now it fixes the uh, helm nsm on install dot sh script oh, okay. fi fix it uh, to fix a master so after we build it will be finished uh, we'll just merge it and i hope master will be green again Okay, then I'm, I'm not sure where this, this, this came from, but... Uh... Uh, it's just vice versa in condition. I just change branches. Oh, ah, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, interesting. <laughs> but then how was this passing uh, before? Because... Uh, I, I guess it's after a base changes. Oh, okay. Probably, but I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Okay, fine, fine. Then, then, then if that's, that, that's the case, then, then great. Okay, and I hope that at some point we are going to completely migrate to Helm 3. Uh, I'm not sure what, what the status there is, but at some point we will need to drop, but probably near the, like, I don't know, June, July, like, uh, half of, in the middle of the year. Good, um, okay. Um, what else uh, we want to say about uh, these things? About the... Yeah, uh, I think one question you wanted to discuss with uh, Artyom and with Radoslav. Uh, Artyom is working on the uh, WireGuard support at the moment oh. and plan to do some changes to the kernel forwarder. So mm -hmm. question is mostly for you, Nikolai and Radoslav. Do you have any uh, upcoming work in the kernel forwarder? Or we can just safely can do some refactoring into it. Oh, I think you're you're safe to do it for for the time being. Okay, okay, okay. So Artyom will do some refactoring to support more uh, remote mechanisms into it mm -hmm. more easily. So we will include you for review after he will complete his work. Okay, okay. That's that's uh, that's really great and interesting. I mean, I have seen a couple of talks uh, about the. What was the project? Submariner or something? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> As I know, it's two Go implementations for a WireGuard. So. Uh, mm. well, WireGuard uh, have their own uh, Go repository, so we can easily use it, their API. Not sure about Submariner. Yeah, I was I was trying to figure out if Submariner was using uh, WireGuard. Uh, WireGuard has very easy configuration, almost like VXLAN, but uh, instead of VNI, they are using uh, public keys. So it's it it shouldn't be any we shouldn't have any problems with it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not I'm not talking about this. It's, it's like. Uh, are we competing with this uh, specific uh, uh, provides IPsec based connectivity out of the box? Yeah, I think it was WireGuard that they were using. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, let us know when when there is a PR. So we um, yes, as Rolfo said, we have a couple of small things that we were planning to do but nothing that cannot be postponed and put on top of, uh, of your work. So um, I know that one of the things that were actually 
we kind of postponed for too long was that the kernel forwarder uh, still has to to be refactored to do the um, the SDK API style thing, like request and close and all these things. I, I'm, I'm I'm not sure if uh, if this is probably one of the things that probably is pending and needs to be done. Uh, so if you're going through it, I guess that you start with something along those lines and then put on put the other things on top. But that's that's up to you, to, of course, to to, to decide. Uh, there shouldn't be any conflicts. Uh, I just found some places uh, where VXLAN is hard coded, so I will oh. mm -hmm. I will put selecting mechanism there, and that's it. So there shouldn't be any conflicts. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Uh, what is the re reason for Wargat? I kind of missed the the the, the, the project the, the subject. I think it was something related to the public clouds and the fact that WireGuard kind of more easily traverses uh, the uh, than VXLAN, for example. It is uh, like secured by uh, VXLAN. I see. Okay. Okay. So it's about security, not uh, not that much about uh, easiness. Okay. But do do we know anything about performance? I mean, do 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 you think that it's going to I mean, of course, we are not going for, for 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 performance once we are considering remote clouds. That's uh, that's for sure. It's just. Um, uh, I found some information that it is much faster than uh, another um, secured connections. It is almost like VXLAN. Uh, it's working on kernel level with Ubuntu system, so. It should be very fast. Okay, good. That's uh, that's a good thing to know. Um, okay. Okay. So, uh, any questions, uh, Jay? Do you have any uh, anything that you want to put on the table and discuss? Uh, yes, uh, actually, uh, I just read a news from Twitter. Uh, I think the you know, coffee paper is now open for KubeCon China 2020 now, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Frederick, yeah, yeah. Uh, Frederick just posted that tweet. And uh, so my colleagues and I are considering submitting a talk, but we have no experience before uh, since this is first time um, trying to do that. And I believe that many folks uh, have done this more than once. So uh, really appreciate if there's some um, advice and suggestions for like topic selection, like is there a template for writing such proposal so that uh, the topic uh, has higher chance of being accepted? Uh, so I was uh, on the program committee on the like a re reviewer for for the networking track for the KubeCon Europe. Mm -hmm. This was my first time here, so probably just a limited um, limited experience. I know that uh, Ed and Fred are much more experienced in this. Uh, probably they can they can tell you more. But at least from my point of view. What was uh, so one of the things that that you should ensure is that the topic is kind of original. I mean, it can be a, a spin of something that some someone else is talking mm -hmm. already, or you have talked about, but um, it, it shouldn't give the impression that it's something that you go everywhere and talk about, and it's one and the same thing. Like sure, uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. Um, That's one of the things, and then sure. probably the other thing is um, try to be as as explicit as possible about the what you want to talk about. I know that sometimes people, when they submit talks, mm -hmm. they try to leave the doors open so that they can do like last minute changes in whatever. They uh, talk about. right. Mm -hmm. But uh, for from the reviewer point of view, it's very it's very hard to 
to judge if this talk is worth it if you read about some vague you know statements like we are going to show examples and it's like okay tell me what these examples are i mean uh if say in this specific specific case that we were talking about we are showing to to, to show examples of connecting multiple clouds using WireGuard on top of the NSM API. So that's that's a lot more specific mm -hmm. than just saying uh, inter-cloud connectivity, blah, blah, blah. And then it's for me, it's like, okay, I don't know what this is about. Uh, yep. If you see what I mean. That's, sure. that's uh, like um, uh, when I read the abstract, I should be able to kind of imagine the agenda of, of, of your talk, like, I'm going to talk about this, this, these three, three, three topics. I see them; they're clearly connected. Uh, also, I, I have seen people that want to talk about too many things in 35 minutes, and 35 minutes is not that much. I mean, uh, take into account that having one question will diverge you for at least five minutes, maybe seven or eight even, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then. Uh, 35 minutes is really limited. So really focused scope, narrowed to very specific topics. It's it's really good if you talk about real life examples, something that's really um, coming from the re reality, not some you know made up things like, yeah, the theoretically we can do this and these things. Uh, that's that's interesting, but probably not not what KubeCon is looking for. Uh, sure. Um, so, so is it true that the topic must be based on open source project? Uh, I don't know the details. I would definitely okay. prefer if it is about open source projects, mm -hmm. but for sure, when you submit, you have to relate to one of the CNCF projects. Oh, I'm gotcha. Sure, I am assuming that you have to say NSM. Mm -hmm. uh, so, for sure, you should say something like, we're building a solution on top of NSM and we're going to share our experience with using it, participating in the community or whatever you want to say there. But uh, you should talk like in the abstract mostly about the, the open source uh, nature of your pr proposal and not focus uh, on the, you know, whatever you did in your appropriate, I think. Of course, during the talk, you can mention and you can refer to whatever you did in, in internally, mm -hmm. but you should more, mostly focus on how the open source, how the community, how the framework, you know, these interactions, how did these things uh, help you. I understand. So uh, is it allowed to submit multiple topics or just one topic for each proposal? I'm not sure what you refer. So you. Oh, so I mean, like for example, uh, there are probably the committee. For example, if I would like to talk about an SM, I would probably talk about another open source CNCF project, and uh, then it's. A, I think the question is for uh, how long the talk is. Oh, so I, 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 I mean. Thirty-five minute. Oh, I, I mean, I mean. Uh, so, so what I mean is, probably uh, maybe it's going to two completely different topics areas for example Proposals. one topic i would like to talk about network another topic i would like to talk about security or whatever mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so just so, so mm -hmm. this would be two different proposals okay and uh at least for the europe uh, uh if uh, like you were restricted to submit i think two uh, you should read the guidelines uh, oh, sure. but I, there are uh, uh, restrictions i don't think that they are going to accept more than two, if not even one. I know that uh, the Shanghai one is, is really, really slim, like in terms of uh, space, uh, like uh, room for, for having many parallel talks. So I doubt that they will accept more than one per speaker, but you should read the, 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 the rules. There are, there are- Sure. Rules. Uh, here, I guess that they will yep. tell you. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. Yep. Uh, days to remember. Requirements, you, and then they tell you. Cool. Blah, 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 blah. So, so, so they tell you what, what you have to do. Yeah, that will be great. I will try to 
to join this year uh, also. Uh, I'm in talks here with my uh, my managers. Uh, it's interesting because this year they have distributed it like uh, we have KubeCon in the end of March, mm -hmm. uh, like in Europe, and then uh, it's like four months later uh, is uh, is it four? Yes, four months later is, uh, yep, uh, is the one in China. Months. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so that's that's good because we have time to prepare from one to the other, and also uh, if there is time for the project to change, to evolve, to do some some additional work, uh, not just talk one and the same thing, conference yeah. after conference. So. Sure. Thanks so much for the guide, and uh, looking forward to uh, meeting you again at KubeCon China. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. That's good. it. Thanks. Good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, with this, do we have anything else that we want to discuss? I guess there are lots of things, but uh, something yeah, that we can just. Yeah, yeah, we have three minutes. Just one uh, thing uh, the floating interdomain is still pending. So I think uh, uh, Artyom will do rebase on the latest today. And if it pass, I think we need to merge it today. Uh, since we will do more refactoring if it's decay and so on, yeah, yeah, having yeah. such yeah. huge uh, pull requests would not be very good. Okay, uh, let me just quickly check. Uh, have I approved it already? Yes. Okay, I am. I am in favor. Uh, like, if you if you want to to merge it, I mean, from my from my side, it's uh, it's it's okay. So yeah, just rebase it and. Yeah, our channel rebase it, check if it pass, and we'll merge, I think, it today. Mm. Or wait for at uh, last uh, time approval uh, during today pull request meeting and merge it during the meeting. Uh, we never managed to find something like whatever the Kubernetes have. I know that they, they are maintaining their oh. own, own bots, like to, to be able to rebase like the CI uh, robot and uh, I know that they have something. Uh, let me try to find some some something with more more comments that probably can be can have an example of this. Um, yeah, uh, you know they have this like retest, so these things, and then they have rebases and all these kind of com comments that they can do here. It would, it would have been great to, if, if I could have just said, uh, yeah, rebase, and then the PR gets rebased, and uh, you yeah. don't have to do it. <laughs> but um, I guess it's, um, yeah, kind, yeah. OK, whatever. Um, LGTM, so this is the merge uh, command. And you know, it's just <laughs> uh, very advanced, but I guess that there is a team of people that are uh, taking uh, care of uh, these things to be to be ma maintained on their own. Okay, good. Uh, with this, I am done. Um, and if there are no uh, other topics to discuss, I suggest that we, uh, we finish here. Yeah. See you in a few hours. On okay. Thank you, everyone. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.